right. There are times when you are subtracting mixed numbers when you're not going to have to have when you're not going to have enough in the bottom fraction so that you're going to have to borrow. Now, here's what I mean. The first step before you can subtract any fraction is they have to have a common denominator. So I'm going to rewrite one half as three six, and I'm going to rewrite two thirds as four six. Now I'm going to go ahead and scratch this out just because I don't like having all this stuff here. Now, 3, 6 minus 4, 6 is not possible. 3 minus 4, there's not enough with the 3 to take 4 away from it. So I'm going to have to borrow or regroup. Now this isn't going to happen every single time you subtract mixed numbers, but there is a chance that you're going to have to borrow from the number. So I'm going to borrow from this 3, I'm I mean 4, and I'm going to make it a 3. When I take the 1 whole from here, I'm going to add it back in over here, but I'm going to add in 6 over 6 for one whole. So basically, we are replacing 4 with 3 and 6, 6. But we can't forget about the 3, 6 that was originally there that we are adding back into it. So 3, 6 plus 6, 6 is 9, 6. So again, I'm going to scratch all that out. So I'm left with 3 and 9, 6. If you simplify 3 and 9, 6, you actually get 4 and a half. They have the exact same value. We're just writing it with numbers that we can use so that we can subtract 4, 6 from 9, 6, okay? So when we do that, 9, 6 minus 4, 6 is 5, 6, and that can't be simplified, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So this answer is 1 and 5, 6. Let's try this next example. If you have 11 and 2 sevenths, um, minus 5 and 3 fourths. Okay, we're going to start off by getting a common denominator. We're going to get a common denominator of 28. So 2 sevenths becomes 8 over 28, and 3 fourths becomes 21 over 28. Now, 8 over 28 minus 21 over 28 is not possible. So this is where we're going to have to borrow. We're going to borrow from the 11, make it a 10, but we're going to add in 28 over 28 over here. Notice I'm not saying replacing this with 28 or um, we're just changing anything to 28. We're adding 28 back in over here, 28 over 28 to this 8 over 28. We took one whole from here, we're adding it back over here, but we're writing it as 28 over 28, so we can use it now. Um, Sorry, and I forgot I changed those. Let me scratch those out. Okay, so 8 over 28 plus 28 over 28 is 36 over 28. 36 over 28 minus 21 over 28 is 15 over 28, and 10 minus 5 is 5. So this one is 5 and 15 over 28, which cannot be simplified. All right, and the last one I'm going to show you is 5 and 3 fifths minus 4 and 6 sevenths. Um, we're going to go with a common denominator of 35 here. And since 5 times 7 is 35, I'm going to do 3 times 7, which is 21. And 7 times 5 is 35, so I'm going to do 6 times 5, which is 30. 21 minus 30 is not possible, so here's where we're going to do some borrowing. We're going to borrow from the 5 and make it a 4, but add in 35 over 35 here. So when we add this in, this is now 56 over 35, which I know looks funny because it's an improper fraction, but we have to make it an improper fraction to be able to subtract here. In the very end, it's not going to be an improper fraction. Okay, so uh, 56 over 35 minus 30 over 35 is 26 over 35, and then 4 minus 4 is 0, and 26 over 35 cannot be simplified, so that's the final answer there.